anything. What's up everyone? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm just doing a day in the life. It is Thursday here and it's kind of more of an exciting day so I thought I would film it. And yeah, starting this morning by taking Kyle to work. Um, we only have one car so sometimes he just takes it to work and I'll be at home. But sometimes if I need to use the car, I'll drop him off. It's only about a 10 minute drive from our place, so it's not too bad. So we're gonna start off by doing that. This is what I'm wearing today. Also, I need to put my clean clothes away today. Hold me accountable, guys. Um, I got these shorts at a clothing swap. They're from Zara. And this is the top that I thrifted, and I just have my skatey swimsuit underneath. Stopped at Foodland because we were out of water. And I really need a better water solution. I think I, well, I need to buy a distiller for the program I'm in, but I think also it'd be nice to get those big, hard five gallon things, jug, water jugs, and then just go to the store and fill those up. All of these like plastic ones, this is, I bought this one because it was cold, but I bought some like bigger gallon jugs too. It's just so much effort and obviously not good for the environment. And recycling here, you have to drive it there yourself. So it's just a lot. So, but I stopped at the grocery store because I knew I needed to drink three of these today and we were out of water and I need to set myself up for success and if you haven't seen me show this water bottle before I will link it in the description I have been searching for a very aesthetic water bottle that's glass is this glass I think this is glass and has a straw and this is the one it also comes in like that nude color which I would have gotten if it wasn't out of stock but here she is I also picked up some snacks because I'm going to the beach right now for probably just a little bit maybe like 30 minutes to 45 minutes maybe an hour but I just knew I was gonna be hungry and I know with the gut health program I'm on I don't have many options out and about so I picked up some cantaloupe and some olives <laughs> so that's what I'm bringing to the beach with me and I'm just meeting a friend and a few people she's here with they all have kids so I kind of feel like I'm crashing the mom party do moms want to be friends with people who don't have kids I don't know I don't know if they do but we're gonna find out she said I could go <laughs> and then after this I'm going to head to a coffee shop um, I probably won't bring this camera, so maybe I'll take some footage on my phone. But let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say. Just, just comes out like that sometimes. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Just finished up at the beach. We just kind of hung out and sat. I think I was there maybe an hour, maybe a little bit less, but it is now 10.30 and I'm gonna head to a coffee shop in Paia. And Paia is kind of like a little like hippie surf town. Um, it's gotten like a lot more touristy so I've heard over the last like decade but I enjoy going to the coffee shop it's like a little bit past like up the hill 
from Paella. It's called Better Things and it's very aesthetic. The coffee, not the best, but I think I'm not even drinking coffee for my gut cleanse. So I think I'm going to get like a golden turmeric latte because I can have that. Um, and I'm just going to work on getting a video posted, a thumbnail made. Sometimes for those, I, that's just like my least favorite part about the uploading process is having to do the description, tags, and the thumbnail. Like eventually it would be awesome to have somebody do that for me. But as an extra motivation, I feel like just getting out of the house and working on it somewhere else helps me be more productive. And then I also am going to get a newsletter opt-in to get together. Like I think it would have been posted by now, but that habit tracker, um, I want to make an opt-in where you guys can enter in your email and then I can just automatically send you the habit tracker template for you guys to use. And I think it would be fun to just have some kind of monthly newsletter go out where I can send you guys like some of my favorite things I've been using, give you life updates, even just like share some like Hawaii bliss, like maybe just send you guys like a couple of photos and like way easier to like link things and have it all in one place. I know a few of you have been asking like for a loungewear, like my favorite loungewear pieces and I'm like I feel like I can't make a whole video dedicated to that but I could easily do a newsletter or something showing it. Obviously I could do that like maybe a, a couple minutes showing you guys throughout my vlogs but yeah I was like that would be fun to like send out a newsletter like all my faves so anyway to the coffee shop I think it's only like 10 10 minutes down the street if that so let's go just got home from the coffee shop i finished the first email and it's super cute i'm not going to show you guys because you just have to go subscribe to see it kyle got me a poke bowl i can't have the rice but i'm gonna eat the poke what do we got some ahi oh looks like he had half of it guess we're sharing <laughs> um if you guys are ever visiting definitely try the poke from foodland or safeway like the grocery stores you can get a pound for like ten dollars is quite a bit of poke whereas um the other places like it's so good and fresh the other places i've gone to was like 18 dollars for a poke bowl which is kind of crazy wow so while i was out i realized i forgot to put on deodorant which is literally the worst feeling in the world i hate when my armpit smell and then it's like you can't cover it up you gotta like give your pits like a little rinse um but i thought i would share what deodorant i have been using you guys know i used to use native i used them for like a year and a half but while we were on our road trip i started to develop an armpit rash and i don't know like i'm like i used native for so long like i feel like why would that randomly start giving me a rash but I did try a couple of their different scents so I don't know if like that started it or if it was something else from being on the road or I have no idea but I think so like I tried to stop using deodorant altogether for a while until it kind of healed and then I recently switched to primally primally pure this is their charcoal one and this is the one I've been using every day. It just smells like very fresh and clean. It's like kind of a thicker consistency. You really have to apply it very thinly or it kind of has a buildup. 
And then I also got their blue tansy one, which I haven't been using very much, but I truly love the smell of blue tansy. I still have like a very, it's not as bad as it was. I still do have a little bit of irritation in my armpits. So if this has ever happened to you guys, let me know. Then I thought it might be my razor. Like I had been shaving it. So then I was like, okay, I'll stop shaving for a little bit. But that's like, I don't like having armpit hair. So that was hard. So then I tried the Billy razor um, to see if that would help. And honestly, that is a very good razor. So I am behind the hype on the Billy razor. Would recommend. It really does give you a really smooth shade. Shave. Shade. You seem kind of sad today. Is it because I left you this morning? Come here. Yeah, my sweet, come here. Yeah, my sweetie boy. My sweetie boy. <laughs> he knows you guys are watching him. You're a little bit shy. You're a little bit shy. Let me see those chompers. Look at those chompers. I love you. Yuck. I don't really know what else I'm going to do today. I think Kyle and I need to film a video for our joint channel. Which I'll have linked up here if you guys want to go watch. It has like a lot more sit down content and like Q&A's. So if you like that kind of stuff, definitely go subscribe. So I need to do that. And then... I don't know. We'll see where the day leads us. Okay, it has been an hour or two. Kyle and I just filmed two videos. We are now trying to upload every friday at i believe it's 12 p.m pacific time so I'm trying to get it done in advance because his parents come into town and i'm just like we need to just batch start batch filming because it's it's hard now that he's working during the day and then he also leaves to work at night um like there's very few hours in between his jobs that we can sit down and film and he's usually a bit tired so we try to film on days he has off but Lately, that hasn't been a lot of days, so it's been a bit harder to get content going, but we're hoping he's going to take one day off, like, from his coaching job. He coaches soccer at night um, th three times a week, so, and also his Saturday games are going to stop after this week for a little bit, so, I don't know. We're just hoping that him taking off Tuesday nights now will give him enough time to energize and we'll have um, that extra time to get more content for that channel but anyways now i'm about to film a reel i'm gonna try we will see how it goes i figured you guys could watch me make a fool out of myself from the sidelines oh i don't even know let's see that's I'm so upbeat. <laughs> I don't know. Like, why? Why do you hug on me? When I dance. I think I'll just save that. Quick sniff in my butt. I'm gonna save that as a draft because it could be funny. I don't think I can do like freestyle dancing anymore. Like my dancing's just And what what should I do with this? I like don't feel like do dogs even listen to discipline? I don't know. I need to watch some dog training videos again because like I don't know how to handle his humping. Like I do something different every time. Sometimes I'd straddle him. To try to dominate. <laughs> but if you have any tips on how to uh, handle these issues. <sighs> Looking for advice. I just, you know what? I don't think this reel is going to happen for me. Let me watch the one. Let me watch this, girls. I think I'm going to give up on this and maybe just put a... 
reel together with like clips I already have of like some like Hawaii scenery or something because like my body is not moving the way it should be today. Just at that point of the day where I want to stop doing everything and play a video game. <sighs> That is how I feel, which makes sense. It's 4.30 and although I started my day at the beach, after that, I've just been working all day. So I definitely want to listen to my body and stop working. I just want to finish this email series and like I was even considering like starting to edit, but I don't need to do that. I can just finish that tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to finish this email series gosh oh, I forgot you guys are supposed to hold me accountable to putting away my laundry oh, you suck why you gotta do me like that I gotta put away my laundry before the end of the vlog I have to shoot it's really it's really not that bad It'll only take me like 10 minutes. You know what? I just need to put I need to put on a show or a YouTube video and just whip it out. But let me finish this first and then we'll put away the laundry and then we'll end the vlog. So if you don't care about me putting away my laundry because you're not a supportive friend and you don't want to hold me accountable, just exit out of the video now, okay? But if you want to stick through the end and make sure I put away my laundry, keep watching, okay? Okay, goodbye. Everyone who decided to stay, I'm very happy because now I get to tell you the habit tracker template is live. And I decided to name my newsletter Peacemail. So, and my little tagline is the coziest corner of your inbox. So cute. So I just want all my emails I send out in this like category to be very helpful giving life updates um my like amazon favorites or like my favorite cozy purchases this month and also include quotes that i love or scripture or what god's teaching me um but when you opt in you'll first get the habit tracker and then a few days later you'll get a second email that shows my favorite devotionals so if you're not interested in the habit tracker don't worry you can still opt in and you'll still get a bunch of other fun stuff throughout the next few months so yay so excited that we got this launched now it is time for me to wrap up my work and put away my laundry okay i can be positive let me find a good youtube video to watch i just watched michelle reed's recent vlog Oh, Josh and Sav just released their first podcast, I think. I don't know. We will see. Or their video announcing the podcast. So maybe I'll watch that and go to wait my laundry. Finish putting away the laundry feels so good. If you guys stay to the end, you are a real one. And like I said, or I've said before, time lapse yourself cleaning or doing something because it motivates you to get the full start to finish. 
because sometimes I'll start on a chore like dishes or putting away laundry and then halfway through I'm like okay I'm over this I'm gonna stop but when the camera's there recording me it like holds me accountable to finish so I can see the start to finish process so a few of you said you've tried it and it works so telling you guys again to try it out um and no no um was i gonna say anything else i don't know i think that's gonna be it for today's vlog i hope you guys enjoyed and i'm trying to get on a consistent schedule posting every tuesday um and some additional if like i have extra videos i post them on thursday just just we love a mid a mid vlog hump handsome the disrespect on this man